Happiness is understanding physics. Welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials. Well, in this video, we are going to solve a circular motion question. Um, the question says a particle is to slide along the horizontal circular path on the inside of the funnel. The surface of the funnel is frictionless. How fast must the particle be moving in terms of R and Q? Is this Q or G? No, no. If it is to execute this motion. Okay, so you can see the funnel there. So I will take it to say we have this particle moves up to that point. I'll get that point. So we're going to have something like that. So this is the part of, uh, of the funnel, okay? So now we have a particle there. Of course, is rotating horizontal. This is a, a funnel. Rotating horizontal like that. I know that, so I've just picked that point uh, for the funnel. Now, we need first of all to know in terms of the forces that are acting on that um, particle that is moving in that circular path. Then it will be easy for us to get started. So now, if the particle is there, according to inclined plane, it's just take it as an inclined plane, this one, take it as an inclined plane. Okay. Take it as an inclined plane. We have the angle there. Now there, that angle is there. So take it as an inclined plane. All right. So now, how is it going to be, or what is this going to be like? We know that the number one thing is that this particle has the weight, which is mg all right it has got the weight mg now since it is on an incline the normal force is not the normal force is not like that the normal force is is like that oh wait okay all right that is the normal force so now, since the normal force is at an angle, all right, and the angle of this normal force with the x axis, this angle is the same as that angle. This angle there, it's the same as that angle. So now, this normal force has to be resolved in two component, in two y component, and also x component we can see that we have no more sine theta here and here we have no more cos theta okay so those are the forces that are acting on this uh, system now from here now we can get started to say maybe deriving using basically uh, newton's laws driving the equation of velocity that is what it's all about. So now, um, let's say the forces in X, so this one is rotating horizontally or in X, so meaning that in X we have some centripetal uh, motion there. So now, what is it going to be like? So this is going to be like um, the force in X is basically normal cos theta being equal to M. So I will replace from here the, the centripetal acceleration. So I have that one. And then for motion in Y, 
zero, I will have no more sine theta minus the weight equal to zero. So no more sine theta equal to mg, All right? So this is my second equation. So what do I do? I just divide, divide the two equations to get one equation. Okay, so we just want to easy our work. Someone will say, Sir, but why dividing two equations? Why? Try to explain why, sir. Okay, so we just want to easy our job and combine the two equations. So we're going to have n sine theta over n cos theta. That n is just the normal force, mind you, mg. And then we have that. So that and that goes sine theta over cos theta, we get term theta equal to that and that will go, of course. And then we are going to have Rg over v squared, All right? So I'll just write from here. So what we're going to have now is um, v squared, Tan theta equal to Rg, right? So now V squared is going to be Rg over tan theta. So we square root both sides and the velocity is going to be radius times curve it over tan theta. So this is the equation that will help us to see how fast the velocity, the particle, will move in that uh, on that funnel. This is the equation. All right. So make sure if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, you subscribe and share with your colleagues. Give me comments. Give me likes. Yeah, I really appreciate. You know, it gives us that momentum to keep on doing what we do thank you so much